Hi guys, this is a quick look at some apparatus that uh, one of the mechanical faculty asked me to build for him, for his uh, students. He wants to do a demonstration of basic electric control system, so he gave me these these uh, modules here, these blue things, for a, thermo, a, a thermocouple and a thermistor module and you know put put them on heat sink have a fan blow on the heat sink so you can control the temperature of the heat sink itself so basically you've got a 24 volt supply going to some power resistors here and um, the thermistor is underneath the capton tape right there in the middle and of course that's all mounted on a heat sink i got from a computer from the uh, the microprocessor heat sink and then there's the module that the thermocouple or the, the thermistor gets plugged into. And of course, there's the fan, the four wire um, pulse width modulated fan. That's why I was messing around with the PWM fans earlier. And um, just a little 12 volt regulator there because I'm inputting 24 volts and the fan needs 12 volts to operate. And this one over here is every, everything's exactly the same, except of course for the thermistor, the accompanying thermistor module, and well, that's it. That's the only difference. And I have it hooked up, got it going on 24 volt supply here, and basically I'm measuring the voltage on the output of the module. The module outputs a current and I just have a resistor uh, to convert the current into a voltage. So we're looking at 2.82 volts and that's with the fan on its lowest speed. So let me take the, the ground connection off the blue wire for the fan. And now it's speeding up. And we should see the voltage start to go down as the temperature of the heat sink slowly drops. I haven't actually calibrated it for you know what what voltage means what temperature but you know this this is just a very basic demonstration of a control system. Um, the control would of course be afforded not by anything here but by this right here the NI National Instruments USB 6211 um, control module, just a whole bunch of analog inputs and outputs and digital on that thing too. But that's basically what it looks like, or what it's going to look like when I give this to the teacher so he can hook it up for his students. So that's it for this one. Thanks for watching.